Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to show you how to test a thermal pile on a Williams gas wall furnace and I'll show you how to replace a thermal pile. Some wall furnaces have a thermal couple and others have a thermal pile. This is a thermal couple and this is a thermal pile. This Williams wall furnace uses a thermal pile. The red terminal from the thermal pile goes here and the white terminal from the thermal pile goes here. The problem with this wall furnace is that although the pilot light works fine, the burner will not ignite. With the pilot light on, I will put the leads of my meter on the terminals of the thermal pile. I'm getting about 277 millivolts DC. This particular thermal pile is rated for between 250 and 750 millivolts. So this is a low reading. A proper reading should be above 500 millivolts. Therefore, this thermal pile is bad. I'll turn off the gas and I'll remove the thermal pile terminals from the gas valve and I will remove the thermal pile itself. I'll replace the old worn out thermal pile with a new one and I'll attach the red and white leads in the same locations of the old one. I'll turn the pilot light back on and let the new thermal pile warm up for a few minutes. I'll put my leads onto the new thermal pile and test it. I'm now getting about 536 millivolts. Now, let's try out the wall furnace. It now works great. I'll put a link in my video description for the Fluke 117 electrician's meter that I used in the video. I'll put a link for the Fluke 116 True RMS HVAC meter and the field piece HS33 True RMS HVAC meter. Also, I'll put links for a variety of thermal piles. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.